Oh, duh. Ciao, friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today. I have been told many times by Derek and by Evie that I made a really big worry worm ages ago, months ago, months ago. And I said, well, no, I have this guy. I have my worry buddy that's like my little stress ball and I love him. And then he turned into the octopus that Evie's been bugging me about. Then she wanted a purple octopus, so I made her purple octopus. But apparently in between, I made this guy. And I did not know that, and I found him the other day. So I'm wrong, and they were right. But I'm going to show you how to make this big guy, because he's a combination of my worry worm and the stress ball. And I like the stress ball so much that I'm going to show you how to do this today. And then this little guy, I made him the other day too. You get to see this part tomorrow. He has clothes. You get to decorate him. I'm going to show you how to make my giant worry worm. So he's just a big stress ball. So I made these. I'm going to set those aside. And then I made the octopus for Evie. That's probably what happened is that she bugged me so much for the octopus that I even totally forgot that I made this guy. And then remember, I made a spider. I made all those things. And I never, ever, ever showed anybody these. So I'm going to show you today. You want two safety eyes, or if you want to embroider, that's fine too. However you want to do it. But I have two safety eyes off to the side here, waiting their turn in a little while. Again, you can make him fuzzy just like I did on the other ones. Go back and look at those videos if you want to see how to make him fuzzy. It's really simple. But I thought these were really fun colors. This is, I know this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, but I don't remember which one this is. It's like pink and limey green and gray and white. I just love this yarn. There's hardly any of it left, so I'm going to use him today to show you how to do this little guy. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! Alright, so I'm going to use a 4 millimeter hook. I've got my 4 prim. My favorite. I'm going to use a 4 even though this should use a 5 because otherwise his head's going to get really big. So I'm going to use a 4 and we're going to start out with a magic circle. And if you're not familiar with the magic circle, I have a really quick tutorial that shows you how to do it the simple way. So what we do is make an X behind our fingers. Now we have two in front. Go under the front one, pull the other one back, turn towards yourself, grab the back one, and pull through. Done. Really easy. All right, so now we have our magic circle. We want six single crochets in our magic circle. So there's my first one and I'm going to mark it because you know I love my stitch markers. There's one. I want six. Two, three, four, five, and six. And now you get to do the magic part of your magic circle. Pull out your tail and now it's nice and tight. Pull them nice and tight. And now you don't have a gap. So simple. And now for our next row, as we all would almost always do with circles like this with when we're working in the round, the next round, round two, is an increase. So there's my first single crochet and I'm going to mark it. So increases all the way around, which means we're going to put two single crochets in every stitch. So we're increasing up to 12. There's my second one. And in this stitch gets two all the way around until you get to 12. And 11 and 12. And there's round two. Easy peasy. So simple. And now we're round three, we're going to increase again. So that's one single crochet in the first stitch. And move our stitch marker. And the next stitch gets two. So we're increasing from 12 to 18. So that stitch gets two single crochets. One single crochet in this stitch. 
two in the next and that is your sequence all the way around will increase up to 18. And there's my last stitch gets two single crochets and round three is done. Okay, now we just have our little circle. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so we're gonna increase one more time. Round four is two single crochets in the very first stitch. That's the one that's marked so there's two stitches. I'm gonna move my stitch marker back two. So we're not going to mark this very first one right here. we got to go back two because oh, that's how many I just made in that stitch. Alright, so there's our first increase. And now after that, the next two stitches get one single crochet each. So we're increasing up to 24 from 18. So this one is two single crochets. And then a single and a single. Two in the same stitch and a single, whoopsie, and a single and a single. And that's the sequence all the way around. You'll be to 24. And there's my last set. So there's two in this first stitch, my last three stitches, last two stitches, get one each. There is round four. So we made our circle a little bit bigger. And if you want this to be even bigger head, of course you can jump up to a five millimeter hook. Round five is one more increase. So the first three stitches will be single crochets. So there's my first one. This is just standard increasing. So if you already know how to do that, increase yourself up to 30 and meet me back. But there's one single crochet, two single crochets, and three single crochets. And then the next stitch gets two. One, two, three, one, two, and move that all the way around. My last set. One, two, three, and my very last stitch will get two. Now we have a nice circle and his colors are coming out really fun. I love this. Okay, and then now the next five rounds are just a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Just a normal single crochet all the way around times five rows and I will meet you back here when you have all five of them done. Five rounds of single crochet. All right, here's my last three stitches of my fifth round of single crochet, which would be round six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we just finished round ten, and now we have what's turning into a little ball. Nice. All right, now we want to decrease a little bit. So we want to go the opposite direction of what we were doing. We don't want to make it bigger anymore. We want to make it a little bit smaller. So we're going to go from 30 back down to 24. So our first is a single crochet and the second and the third. Those are all three single crochets and then this one is a single crochet two together. Go through one, pull through, go through the next, pull through. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through everything. Single crochet once, twice, three times, and then to single crochet two together and do that all the way around. And my last one is single crochet two together and we just decreased from 30 down to 24. And that was round 11 and round 12 is one more decrease. The first two stitches are single crochet and I'm going to move my stitch marker. one and two and the next two are single crochet two together so an over pull through yarn over pull through three loops are on our hook pull through one two all the way around one two 
and my last decrease right here. These two get single crochet two together. Boom. Now we have taken him from 24 down to 18. So 24 down to 18, one more decrease, and now our round 13 is one more decrease. So it's single crochet in the first stitch that's marked, and then move our stitch marker. And then the next two are single crochet two together. Single crochet, single crochet two together. I'm just going to alternate those two stitches. Single, single two together. There's my last set. There's a single and single crochet two together. Can't decrease too much more because we need to be able to get inside his head in a little bit. All right, now we're going to make him his little tail. We're going to make the wormy part. Make this part is way bigger than my original worry worms and even my octopus legs. He's way fatter. So we're going to chain from where we are right now. It's chain 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 24, and 25. Then I just have a big long chain hanging from his head. And in every one of these chains, I want five double crochets. So even right away in the next stitch, just yarn over and go into the next chain. And double crochet one, two, three. four, and five in that chain. And then move on to the next chain and do the exact same thing all the way back up to the top. I will meet you back at his head as soon as I have all of my chains filled with five double crochets. And here's my last chain five double crochets into my last chain. So I made his wormy tail. Four and five. I'm going to slip stitch into my marked stitch. Let's pull this out a little bit. And I'm going to move this onto our loop so our loop doesn't disappear because now we got work on his head. Wherever you want to place your eyes, if you want to embroider, you can certainly do that too. I'm going to use eyes, my safety eyes today. I picked out some green ones. I thought that would be kind of funny. He's got a little bit of green in him, but not much. And now he's got big green eyes. I think that's cool. There's his eyes, and I imagine that anybody who has these knows how to put the backs on their safety eyes. And there's his eyes. He's so cute. Now it's time to stuff his head. So I've got some fiber fill. Stuff it however you want to. I made these ones nice and big so I can squeeze them because I like this is my stress ball. I love it. I love my stress balls. So this will be my new guy. This will be my, my new stress ball. Since I totally forgot that I had not shown the world this one yet. Evie and Derek were right. That, I know that I did that already. Mm, I made it. But then I had to jump on and do something else, I guess. It's easy for me to get sidetracked, I guess. All right there, now his head is full. We want to go back to our loop that we pulled out here and marked so that it didn't disappear on us. It's very easy for that to happen. So I like to pull out a really big loop so it, I can't accidentally lose any stitches. And we had slip stitched into our marked stitch. 
Now we want to single crochet two together all the way around to reduce one more time. We're reducing our 12 down to six. I'm going to mark that stitch. One, two, and then in our last stitch here, we just want to do a single crochet. Very last stitch. So now we have really closed up his head a lot right here. But not all the way. Let's turn this first. Just have to unscramble your curly cue here. Easy peasy. And just turn him until he, he looks the way you want him to look. And now we're going to need a needle. We are going to cut off our yarn. Make sure it's a nice long tail so you can thread your needle. I'm going to pull this through all the way through your last stitch. And now thread our needle. Just cinch these last few stitches closed. Kind of like a drawstring bag. Pull. Now he's closed. His tail is kind of dangly if you don't like the way it looks. And just put a few stitches into the top. I think he actually looks pretty cute the way he is. But if he doesn't look exactly the way that you want him to, then just use a few stitches. To pull his tail a little bit closer. There's one stitch made that much difference. I think he looks cute the way he is. And then I take my needle and go down through his tail, down through the chains as best as you can, right through the middle, to bury this tail. Fasten that off. Snip. So there you go. There's your giant mega, my mega worry worm. Giant head worry worm right here. So there you go. So if you want to have a big one that's nice, a nice stress ball, I love him. I love him. And tomorrow we get to make him a hat. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.